it takes a lot of pipes to build a district heating network. But now heat is flowing around Tala. It comes from an Amazon data centre into this building. For us, it's about being a good neighbour. We've been investing in Tala for 15 years. AWS has been part of this community. We're very proud of our relationships with the community here. The energy heats water, which is then pumped onto public buildings, including the library in Tala. From our point of view, it's a big step in the decarbonisation of Tala. And for us, that's one of our key actions in the climate change challenge. This is basically just a giant heat pump but it's the size that makes it really efficient and should bring down the cost for everybody, including the people whose homes are going to be heated from here. This centre is still only at 40% capacity. When fully operational, it could heat thousands of homes. And it is only the first scheme. More are planned. About 50% of all of Ireland's heat demands can be met by district heating. And when we looked at the Dublin region, um, we analysed all the different sectors together and all the different options for heating. And we found that nearly all of the heat demands, about 80% of the heat demand in Dublin can be utilised by, uh, can be met by district heating by 2050. Building district heating networks will not be cheap, but the government says it will be worth it. In this one, the, the support from the Climate Action Fund, which had paid for this, was about four and a half million euros. So it's not small, but what you get for that, heating the university, heating local authorities, the opportunity to go out and heat housing, that does pay for itself. And, and it's, it's more system change, really, is the big thing that's needed. So expect more of this coming down the pipe. Coleman O'Sullivan, RT News, Tala, South Dublin.